We are here at Karjugati in Geneva, Switzerland. Let's go take a look inside. The 250 short wheelbase. Gorgeous, gorgeous vintage Ferrari. Check out this full carbon Pagani Zonda F. The weave is spectacular. Look at that interior. The signature four pipes of Pagani. And then check out this 400 GT. The vintage Lamborghini. There's a Plymouth Prowler right here. Take a look at this though. Note that right there because we're gonna head this way. There it is. Check out that. How ridiculous is this? Get a look at the back of this Daytona real quick. And then they just have tons and tons of cool cars. Have a red 959 with the red wheels. The all red interior. We continue on. There's some pretty cool stuff back here. Have another 959. And then if we head over to the back corner, dun dun dun, the Koenigsegg CCX, full carbon. You can see the purple tint there in the carbon and the weave. The interior on this car is wild. Look at that. The purple, look at that gear shifter right there. This is old school Koenigsegg. Look at that. I think we're in France. We might be in Italy. We're somewhere near the border. How gorgeous is that? It is breathtaking. It's also freezing up here. We're headed that way into Italy on the road to Monaco. just arrived here in Monaco. It is absolutely stunning. It's crazy because I've seen so many different YouTube videos here of supercars racing around and then to finally be here. Look at this view of the Mediterranean, the mega yachts. How gorgeous is that? Right down there is a 488. So we're gonna be here through the weekend. 
just doing uh, some car spotting. So let's see what we can find. We are doing some yacht spotting here in the harbor. I can only imagine how many millions upon millions of dollars these things are worth. And we have our first car spot of the day, the Ferrari 599 GTO. This color is absolutely sensational. So the GTO I filmed a couple days ago was also red. This is a little bit darker shade. Looks really, really good here in the harbor with the Monaco skyline there in the back. Of course, Ferrari only built 599 of the GTO. Beautiful, beautiful car. We're doing some good old fashioned car park spotting. Check out this Ford GT. Absolutely love that car. But there is something rather special down here. So we are seven floors underground. Look at this, the Maserati MC12. How cool is this car? This of course is based off of the Ferrari Enzo. There's only 50 of these in the world. It shares the same powertrain, the same chassis as the Enzo, but there's 399 Enzos. So this is eight times as rare. It is so incredibly wide. Look at this diffuser right here. The massive rear wing. Another really cool thing about the MC12 is this piece right here is completely removable. So it can be an open top roadster, unlike the Enzo. Check out these strikes right here. This is how you car spot in Monaco, apparently. Car parks is the place to be. Unfortunately, a lot of them have covers. We have the 355 and the 550 Barchetta. And then, if we run down here, what is it? We have the 16M, and we'll save the best for last. We have the F50. Bear in mind, I did not remove that cover. Pretty cool to see one of these. I think it's safe to say that Monaco is meeting expectations. The Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse. Look at the color scheme on this car. Absolutely wild. And in case you wanted to know how to say, please do not touch in every single language, there you go. What a wild, wild car here in Casino Square in central Monaco. This of course is the Grand Sport Vitesse, so that piece there is removable. The quad turbocharged W16, 1200 horsepower. The paint scheme on this car is mesmerizing. So we are headed back to Casino Square because another very special car parked next to the Veyron. We're looking at the Vitesse once again because another Veyron just showed up. This is the original, the 16.4. You'll notice there's some pretty subtle differences between the two cars. This one has a single exhaust tip, whereas the Vitesse has the dual exhaust tips. And then if we walk around to the front, The headlights, as well as the front bumper, have been slightly revised. You can see right there. So the power output on the 16.4 is 1,001 horsepower, whereas the Vitesse has 1,200 horsepower. Pretty cool to see these two cars randomly parked next to each other in Casino Square. Check this out. 
I don't even need to say anything. <laughs> it just continues. That is insane.